What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern League here on Magic Online. Today we're taking a look at a deck that was criti that was uh, commissioned by uh, Cody, and it's pretty sweet. If you guys are interested in having your own deck critiqued by me, check out my Twitch profile. There's information on how you can do that below. I also have a Patreon page if you want to support the stream in other ways or the YouTube videos in other ways. So uh, this deck is pretty interesting. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, I'm sure you had. There are 24 fog effects, so. Here they are, and this one as well. <laughs> All right, infinite fogs. Uh, and the point of this is to give them a million creatures with Forbidden Orchard, and then every time you do that, they take a damage from um, Trespasser's Curse, which is pretty sweet, or uh, they attack with a bunch of them and we play Batwing Broom. And that says each player loses one life for each attacking creature they control if a black was spent to cast it, which it most likely will. Also, Sutra Priest is fulfilling the same role as Trespasser's Curse. Um, so, Phyrexian Arena is going to help us draw extra cards, and Snaring Bridge uh, is going to prevent them from attacking so that we can rely on these and to not die from all the 1-1 one, one, uh, Colorless Spirit Tokens that we provide. So, Cody actually does preface this and says... Uh, let me find it. He says, <laughs> um, "Okay, so my deck isn't viable by any means. So we know we know going in, it's a meme deck, uh, but it's hilarious against any type of aggro meta, affinity, infect, boggles, human zoo, burn, um, and uh, he says it's a rough draft. He would like some ideas for improvement, and then he 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 goes on to say." Um, since my deck's super new already, I came up with a possible amendment. The, deck, the deck's constant damage output is extremely reliant on Forbidden Orchard, and I was wondering if Vesuva might be a good idea in getting more trees on the field. Uh, so we did add two Vesuva. In the, origi in the original version of the deck, instead of Suture Priest, they had he had Bloodseeker. And I think Suture Priest is just an upgrade, um, because it's the same card. They're both 1-1s one for 2, only Suture Priest additionally has whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain a life. Uh, which becomes relevant if you have two, three, four Suture Priests. If you draw them all, you're gaining, you know, for the first one you draw one life, and then for the second one you draw two life, and then the third one you draw three life, etc. Um, well, no, you, you gain more than that. The third one you'd gain one, two, three, four life. For the fourth one you'd gain one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine life. So it, it adds up if you have multiple Suture Priests. Um, but it's it's literally just a, uh, you know, in this sense, I don't like using the term strict uh strictly better but i think it might be strictly better in this sense because uh you're you're gaining life instead of not getting life so uh he didn't have a sideboard built so we pretty much threw this one together three rest in peace uh because our graveyard isn't utilized at all so it doesn't affect us three stony silence which is good against things like tron or affinity uh or um lantern which we always end up going up against Leyline of sanctity obviously great uh, against burn decks we put dark confidant in here because they're probably going to board out the removal because we have no real creatures other than like suture priest and it's a great way to draw cards my, my problem someone neros mentioned sanguine bond on the sideboard i did consider sanguine bond um the problem is we don't gain that much life whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life we don't actually gain that much life other than like riot control um or suture priest and the secondary problem is that it costs five mana and we're a deck with uh, 20 lands so it's not very likely we're gonna get to 20 mana um and then anguished on making is the final card that we added to the sideboard because uh it's it's great against other problematic cards uh if they have like an oblivion ring or a creature that you know says we can't gain life or damage can't be prevented or something we just want to get rid of that so all right. <laughs> I wish we had room for more Sutra Priests. Like, I wish we had room for more Bloodseekers. I'm tempted to take out two, two, two other Fogs for two other Bloodseekers. Just to have the full... Like, just to have six of them. You know what I mean? I think these are going to be real vital to winning. Hmm. <laughs> Snapcaster C agreed. Memes are great. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right. All right. What are we doing here? Uh, the charms are prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn. Regenerate target creature, which is fine for these guys if they try to kill them. Or counter target spell that targets you. So... Uh, all relevant modes. 
Hmm. I might want to take out just. I might just out my like blood, one blood seeker just so we can have five. And then we can take out like one. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by creatures this turn. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Ethereal Haze is just better, right? Because if they have a creature that taps to deal damage, like it's just better to get rid of that than get rid of a. Yeah, all right, we can cut one holy day. All right, so we're going with a five Suture Priest Bloodseeker, guys. All right, let's see how this goes. Boy. Why are you so small? Why would you default to this size? Also, the Magic Online logo updated, if you guys hadn't noticed. Look at that upper left corner. This guy right over here. I can't show you. Hopefully you can see the, the mouse cursor, I guess. Oh, this league is actually brand new. There's only 98 active players. And uh, because it's Wednesday, so we just got up from downtime. And um, no one's actually won a league. No league is actually finished, so there's no trophies yet. That's pretty interesting. All right. I'm excited. Here we go. This is going to be... Oh, my, my, my stir can stir is out of date. Oh, God, I hate it when that happens. It's like the worst. Uh, this hand seems pretty good. This hand seems like it has everything we want, so. I'm hoping there are godless shrines in the deck. I think there are four. That is correct. Oh, they went to five? Oh, man. What if we just win automatically? This is great. This is great. Do we have any one drops? No. No. Is there a pill for Kirk and Kerr out of date? I don't think so, but maybe. I mean, you'd have to consult your physician for that. I, I really can't say. A bird? How do we win? We win by killing our opponent, Robert. Your your Robert, your opponent starts at 20 life points, and your goal as an opposing planeswalker is to reduce them from 20 life points to zero life points. Alternatively, you are able to mill them, uh, which means if they can't draw a card from their library, which is their deck, uh, they lose the game that way as well. So, you know, lots of... Oh, this is exciting. Our opponent's like, why do you have that? <laughs> What's going on? Are you really that desperate for colored mana? I don't understand. The deck, I still answered your question correctly. The deck we are running wins by reducing our opponent's life total from 20 to zero. I don't, I don't know why you're being like this. You're being very, you're being very rude right now, Robert. Don't kill my suture priest. It's so relevant to my life right now. All right, that's actually fine. Look at all this. Look, they're already at eight, they're already at seventeen. This is perfect. God, great. We're taking the damage too. Unbelievable. So I'm actually tempted to not give them two guys here because I don't want to kill myself. But I think we have a turn. Door to nothingness. <laughs> so out of curiosity, how do we um how do we survive a door to nothingness? Alright, you always yield to that. Or how do we how do we actually activate the door to nothing? Is that what I'm saying? Our arena will eventually kill us. We have 15 turns, right? That's a good amount of time. I mean, we make two guys a turn. That's only seven turns that it, that it takes. 
I don't know. I see. I feels like we're all right. So you win unless they have the combo next turn. E yes. What's the combo? What did they just retreat to Coral Home? Is that a thing? Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, so they're just attacking for normal. As you can imagine, no blocks will be had this day. Can the Orchard still tap for mana if it has a ley line in play? Um, yes, because it says whenever you tap it, the ability comes. Like it doesn't, it doesn't. That's not a part of. Ooh, hello. Oh, yeah. Give me that life. That sweet, sweet life. Look, it's already adding up. It's already paying for itself. Uh oh Oh, God. They're going to... Oh, God. I do have double fog, don't I? Holy Day and Darkness. Right here. Like, these both... This taps for any color mana. Is there a good modern mill deck? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, they only hit. Oh, they got they got one hit. Always yes. Uh, there are mediocre modern mill decks. There's no modern mill deck that is like tier. Well, you're never like, oh my god, this modern mill deck is amazing. Like it's just not. That's not a thing. Uh, unfortunately, but I mean, there's always modern mill decks that are kind of like you can play them and do well at your modern events. Like, that's the thing. So. That's how modern is, though, you know? Like, modern is a format where you can just play whatever you want. Here we go. Well, that's annoying. I don't think we're going to kill them fast enough. What can they do with this? Make a million mana? That They have to have something to do with... Oh, they have a Kessig Wolf. Oh, we have Fogs, though. That's pretty okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't. I don't need to use that mana. Oh, I get to draw another card too. Oh boy! Ooh, hoo, hoo. the triple fogs. <laughs> Are we gonna just win this game? We can deal them two four damage right here. If we played this last turn, we probably would have won, right? We put them to. Oh no, we we still we still be a turn off. What a time to be alive, guys! Is there a good Mardu control deck that's not pirate? That I don't know. Like you guys are asking me weird questions, like. I am not the, the 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 modern librarian by any means, but I appreciate you guys asking. Also, regenerating a creature seems good. So we have a uh, we have fog fog fog, or we have fog fog regenerate counter a spell that targets us. That's pretty okay. I'm never blocking unless I have to block, my friend. Uh, darkness doesn't. Darkness just prevents all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. Don't don't lie. Don't lie to me, Kermit the Frog. Uh, no blocks. I'm always yielded to this. I don't. I'm not long for these shenanigans. I guess I can't read now. I mean, these are basically, these are ex literally functional reprints. Prevent all combat damage you dealt this turn. Prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn. Literal same card. 
Only this one has the really creepy Howard Mc Harold McNeil art, who also did the Invoke Prejudice art, I believe, uh, which is also very creepy. I guarantee you they have Spokewell in hand, and it's going to be glorious. I will be pre-releasing this weekend, definitely. I cannot wait for Dominaria. It looks it looks great. Well, they're going off right now. They're going to try to Kessig Wolf run this this Knight of the White Orchid, I think, unless they got a fireball or something. This is going to be glorious, though. Oh, God, the rage. Let the anger flow through you. We have, we do have uh, multiple walking, multiple, uh, 23 seems a bit excessive. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, you're not done yet. All right, well. There's more to come. I'm just trying to win the game here, man. Oh, did you just add a mana to ignore it? Alright, well. You do you, good buddy. You do you. I'm gonna add a black. And then I'm out of white. Look at all look at this look at this death that, that is happening. They could cord for Ballista. They could definitely cord for Ballista. Uh, it would go into the graveyard, but they could do it. That was a that was a hell of a game right there. I can't believe what just happened. How do we beat Chalice on one? Well, we're bringing Anguished on Makings. I don't think this is a deck that's going to play Chalice on one. Oh, I kind of want Dark Confidence here. Does Leyline just seem good because of Ballista? That's the only reason. I mean, how many how many fogs do you have for that? Uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. So Riot Control actually fixes that. But I mean, prevent all damage that would be dealt by creatures this turn. Both of these both of these prevent it, but they only do it for a turn, I guess. I can't believe we just won that game. It's unbelievable to me. It also does prevent red cap, so that's a thing. Take out one darkness. We'll take out one. Stony would be... Uh, oh, yeah, but I mean, like, Leyline gives us other outs, too, right? Like, Leyline gives us outs to... Uh, what do you call it? What's the other card? Like, Murderous Red Cap, if they sack Murderous Red Cap, and, like... Uh, map is vital because we want to be able to find our Forbidden Orchards. Like, this is the win condition of the deck, We, as you just noticed from Suture Priests. Like, if we don't have a way to put creatures into play, like, they just... They don't. <laughs> Take out one ensnaring bridge. We'll just bring in two ley lines here. I think that's probably fine. Actually, Bowing Broom is each attacking creature, right? Not each creature they control, right? So it might actually be better to just take out the Batwing Brooms. This deck's actually pretty hard to sideboard with because there's a lot of relevant pieces, but there's a lot of redundancy as well. You know, like you want all the fogs you can get, but you also want to be able to uh, bring in sideboard cards. So you might have to cut some of those fogs. Noble Hierarch, you got it. Mm 
All right, here we go. Interesting. So you start player to enchant. Sure. All right, we did it. Everything is terrible. This tip must be spent exclusively on Hungry Howie's. Any other usage of this tip result in the tip being revoked? Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. How did I not hear that? Is my is my life muted right now? What's going on? They didn't do anything, huh? Okay. Well. I mean, if they go Vizier, they just kill us, right? I don't think we need Sutra Priest just yet. Yeah, we win by giving them tokens and then taking damage for each token that is that is given. Is my <laughs> great, great. What's Azor's Electors do? I forgot. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a filibuster counter on them. Then if a source is my win the game. Whenever a source deals damage to you, remove. That's an interesting win con. I could see that. Yeah, I'd love to get a Sutra Priest down here, but I'd rather wait a turn until we can hit another land. No, they didn't do anything, though. Ah, oh, the old subtle, subtle as my eggs comment. A classic. A classic. Thank you, Japoshi, for that one. You nature's little treasure, you. Not even attacking with these. All right. Okay. Land. That is, that is a land. I'm pretty sure you missed all the times I clarified that I had to change my name because I lost the email associated with my old... What? I've missed that every single time you said that. How did you lose the email associated with your... With Juposhi? That's insane. How is that even possible? I'm impressed. Oh, it was a school email address. That's so sad. That's rough. You know, it's a vizier of our remedies. Uh, this deck is kind of silly because of the redundancies. Oh, it's a Duskwatch recruiter instead. I see. He left his email on top of his car one day after work, and when he drove off, he lost it on the highway. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm a fan of what you just did there. Yep, I can't beat any of these guys on board. Do you just want, like, Wrath of God on the sideboard? That seems that seems bad, though, right? Like, you're never going to be able to... You're never going to be able to cast that. And you also want the creatures... You want the creatures on the board. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think they just, they just win here, right? Like, this is the combo. You just make infinite mana. You recruit for a million... Always, always, I'm gonna always yield to all these things. Yeah, we'll see. We'll let them ballista us. I don't know. They might not have that, or they, uh, they might have alternative weapons.
Oh, Kasali Pride Mage. That's good to know. See, this is also giving us information. Like, Pride Mage is good to see because they now we know that they have, uh, well, Pride Mage in the deck. So, the information is definitely valuable. This isn't a combo deck where you just scoop. Like, this isn't like they, it's not like they have a sp assembled Splinter Twin and Pester Might here. There's a Walking Bliss, though. I wonder if they just try to go off through that. All right, so they're doing it. Yeah, they're not the timing out is not it's not going to happen in this in this match. But I did want to see all the information we could. So now we can board a little better. I mean, we're at 19 life and we have ways to like the problem is by conceding here, it tells them we have no outs, right? And we may. We may have a ethereal haze in hand that prevents all the damage this turn, right? Which lets us go to our next turn. And I don't know. It's We'll see. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because then they just add more counters to the Ballista. I guess it's silly. All right, we'll just go to the next game. Oh, how ironic. Yeah, we're just going to... We're definitely bringing the, the, the other one of these in there. Um, and we'll cut another darkness for it. This isn't a deck where you need a ton of Holy Days and, and Fogs, actually, so that's good to know. It is a deck where I'd kind of like Dark Confidants, though, because they don't really have that many answers for Dark Confidant. I wonder if we just want Anguished on making as well. Hard to say. I think this is fine, though. Oh, I kind of like this hand. Any one land in this is good. I'll keep this hand. One land. Come on. One land. We can do it. We have time. I did like the, the, the clicking finger fatigue that we were... Uh, we were instilling in our opponent, but you know, sometimes, sometimes the value is just too too low. You know what I mean? God, they always have a turn one play every game. Nature's claim, bird of paradise, land. That's the best land we could have asked for. Holy smokerinos! <clears throat> Duskwatch can find Pride Mage, actually. That's a good point. But that, that, that means they can't go off with only uh, Walking Ballista, Vizier, and Devoted Druid. They have to have that. They have to have Duskwatch Recruiter, which is, I mean, it's fine, right? Like, we'll take it. Look at all these little critters I'm giving them. Yeah, Ronus does not seem great here. <laughs> you go ahead. You Ronus, you little hot out. I mean, 15 more Forbidden Orchards and, uh, and they're dead. So, I don't know what problem is. Here comes a Vizier. Never didn't, never didn't have it. <laughs> And then we died. Oh, we did not die yet. We are still alive. Hmm, sometimes didn't have it, I guess. All right. Seems good. Oh. Hello. All right. Now I'm feeling... Now I'm feeling saucy. I should have attacked there, right? What did they do? Block with Vizier? Sure.
Do I just block the vizier? What happens? What do you do? Nothing? All right. No, no blocks. I think we're fine. Thank you. Yep, Craig. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Time Bird. Thank you. These lands are are nice. Nice. How are we ahead this game? I don't understand. We can't be, right? There's no way. Here we go. Oh, the top decks are so real. Does that target me? Can I counter it? <laughs> no? Okay. There he is. It's your boy. It's your other boy. Your two boys. I think we might be dead now. Now is the moment of our death. I mean, ultimately it doesn't matter now because they have a double Vizier, but I do like the idea of blocking Vizier and then Dawn Charming to regenerate Confidant. A reflector mage, eh? God, this is so grindy, dude. Sure. <laughs> They've spent eight more minutes than we have. That's a thing, isn't it? No we'll hierarch, sure. So ambitious to be playing this deck on Magic Online. Is it Static Caster? Sure. Do 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 I don't know what their plan is. Like, I, I'm not going to scoop preemptively and just hope they know how to win. There's another Vizier. Do we know they have a second Temple Garden? Like, what if they don't have a White Source to find with Misty Rainforest? Then they actually can't cast Pride Mage this turn. So, I mean... Like, it's hard to... It's hard to scoop here when you don't actually know what they're trying to do. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just gonna, oh, have a guy. You're welcome. Oh, they just might have Ballista in hand. That'd be pretty good. They just play Ballista for a million and kill Dark Confidant. 
So they go to nine. Like they play Ballista, they play Dark Con we, we 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 make them a guy, they go to nine. On our turn, make another guy, they go to eight. I don't think there's any top decks that get us out of that predicament, but maybe they accidentally discard Pride Mage? I don't know. All I know is they've spent 10 more minutes than we have playing this game, so... I don't know why you would do this to yourself, I guess, but... You know. Different strokes for different folks. Everyone's... Everyone's having a good time. Oh, Swamp Dog, what's going on, buddy? So... <laughs> we got, oh, the old uh, 34... The old 34 mana... Walking Ballista. Probably more than that. This is game three. We, uh... It's 1-1 one, one right now. So. Come on. Have you watched any of Barry on HBO? Is that a Barack Obama series? If so, I, I would love to. I have not yet, though. That sounds awesome, though. If we do untap, we can play second ley line, which is actually pretty insane, I think. Forty, forty. All right, is it forty? Are you gonna do a twenty guy? What's the what's the deal here? So, bounce the ley line. What does that mean? What do we? How do you? What do you mean bounce the ley line? Yeah, we do need to hit a land here, like for Darkness or Holy Day. <laughs> if we hit a land, though, boy. Oh, we're definitely hit, we're definitely tapping the Orchard. We have an F6. We've just yielded to, like, Duskwatch Recruiter and things like that, so. Oh, let's see what they get here. I have to assume you have a Temple Garden. Yeah, okay. So you just kill us this turn. So you play Pride Mage. <laughs> it's really sad that this doesn't have... Um, I think the, maybe the misplay was not just playing second Ley Line to, to play around Pride Mage. It's funny because they're at 7. They go to 6 from this. They go to 5 from the Walking Ballista itself. Which is actually a ridiculous amount of things can they actually do this in four minutes I have no idea does the deck have two pride mages like I feel like they've gone through a lot of cards Oh, four minutes and 21 seconds. Sorry about this, guys. I just don't know. Maybe, yeah, actually, it's funny. If we just actually played the first game longer, maybe we actually could have timed them out. I have no idea. I wish this regenerated permanence. Oh man, can you imagine? See on YouTube, this is where I'd fast forward a bit. Yeah, in case you guys are watching this on YouTube, 1.5 speed is a lifesaver. Yep, sure. Yep. I think they I mean they got this, right? Like we're not gonna mess around and Could you have regenerated the Pride Mage? No, because it's A, it's Sacrifice, and B, that does not uh, stop the ability from resolving, so. We just, like... It's, none of these do anything, right? It's prevent combat damage, prevent combat damage, prevent combat damage. Okay, just making sure. All right, we'll go to game. We'll go to round, round two.
Another curse would have been good. What would we have drawn if the Dark Confidant stayed alive? We wouldn't have drawn the extra lands. We wouldn't have had Leyline and... Um, what's it called? Fog. Right, like, the yeah, the problem being that... And we actually... That's why we boarded the Holy Day out, and that's why we boarded the Darkness out, because those were the uh, least... What do you call it? Um, the least versatile fogs, right? Like, you want the fogs that are like, prevent all damage this turn. I mean, the problem is, even if we prevent all damage this turn, they're just like, okay, your turn, during your upkeep, I'll, sh I'll shoot you for the rest of the damage, right? So, even that doesn't really uh, save us. But... Either way, like, still got it to game three, which is pretty hilarious. God, my, my stir const, const is still out of date. I wish that wasn't the case. I'll keep this hand. We have Expedition Map to find. Um, okay, maybe not. Yeah, but we can't squeeze out four minutes. And, I don't know, I don't feel great about doing that. That was rude. Hey, suck on them eggs, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we actually could have gotten the, the concession, or the timeout even, if we played the second ley line there. Oh, you don't even know. Boy, you don't even know what that did. All right, let's see what you're getting here. Raging Ravine. Oh, it's Jund. This seems like it's a bad matchup for us just because they have a lot of ways to make us discard things. And we have so few targets for their removal that they'll probably just kill it. That's an interesting choice. I don't think I value my Suitor Priest nearly as much as you think I do. Sure. Good times, good times. I have a sizable Termoglyph. This is where they Maelstrom Pulse or Abrupt Decay or Phyrexian Arena, which is just sad. They Bloodbraid Elf into Maelstrom Pulse or Abrupt Decay. Lightning Bolt. All right, perfect. There's a lot of damage, though. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 damage in one turn. That's a... Uh, it's not nothing. This is where we try our hardest not to die. Hmm. So we're going to go... Suture Priest. This one. Sure. <clears throat> Your move. <laughs> Fog, dear bra. <laughs> I guess we take eight. No, we don't. We take none. I forgot. I forgot we fogged. It's not a common play in modern. Sure. Take it all, man. Inquisition my whole life. Give me that. Yeah, that's right. You take a point. Get wrecked, buddy. All right. Here we go. This is how we died. <laughs> oh, my God. We just targeted ourselves. That's terrible, but I don't think it matters. I don't think it's relevant at this point. We're going to pretend we didn't do that. Why is this a champ player? That's terrible. Like, we're basically dead here. We block here, we take eight, so we're dead. That doesn't matter. I mean, they three Inquisitions is pretty bad when you're hitting all of our pieces. So, yeah, we block. 
Like, even if we block here and made a guy for them and we went to eight from this, we'd still be dead to eight. So. All right. Not ideal there. I do kind of like ley lines here. Also ensnaring bridges. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take Holy Day, Darkness, Darkness. We're going to bring in ley line, ley line, ley line. Because this is still 8 1 mana fogs, which is a lot, so. Well, we have no. Well, it just depends on what we draw. Like, we can draw into a bunch of stuff with uh, Brexian Arena, but. Pirates and part time fairies, what's going on? I assume they're going to just... Oh, all right. Seems good. Orchard. No. Well, we're just going to copy our concealed courtyard and be off a turn, unfortunately. That's a dude. Seems annoying. <sighs> Man, apparently two lands is hard to come by here. Yeah, how we beat a planeswalker is uh, usually the, um, I guess, the anguish and making in the sideboard, but that seems ambitious. Here comes a Bloodbraid Elf. Yep, Colgon's Grand seems pretty good. Yeah, this match seems like it's going to go very quickly. All right, yeah. No, we're just dead here. Um, they can actually attack with a Raging Ravine, deal us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, put us to five. We can fog, but like we're not long for this. We're not long for this world. Oh, you be dropping if you hit O three in league? No, I will not be dropping. There's no point to that. We're trying to test the the deck and get a feel for it. So, this is also a uh, deck critique by someone. So that would be not fair to them to uh, only play three matches. They're killing themselves with these these thought seizes. Are you really coming to Arkansas this weekend? Yes, I am. I will be in Arkansas um, playing some uh, some pre-releases. So, Will you be there, Static Suicide? Might as well fog now because if we draw land, we're going to be able to play this. All right, so now we just have two cards we can't play. They're probably going to split our piles, which is not ideal. They are not. All right. Well, so we're going to take eight here, right? So we're going to go down to seven. So at Friday at midnight, we're going to go to Imagine Hobbies and Games in their new location. Um, and then on Saturday, we're going to Hot Springs to play at Steadfast Games, apparently. So, that is our plan. All right. Jund seems like a terrible matchup for us. So, um, you know, despite the deck being pretty pretty, pretty funny and it's a meme deck, um, Jund seems like just a terrible matchup because of the discard, because of the disruption, because all their cards interact favorably with our cards. Abrupt Decay, uh, 
you know, Kolagon's Command, Liliana, and Maelstrom Pulse, and all the discard is just very, very good for us. For them, against us, is what I'm saying. One, these are these these hands where it's like one land. Static suicide. You should totally catch us at Imagine. That would be sick. It would be awesome to finally meet and uh, play some matches. Hey, you're the <laughs> I watch all your vids. Oh, that's awesome. All right, we'll keep this hand. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, it's one land hand, but the second land leads to the third land, so. Oh, Scred. Oh, this could be a good matchup for us. One time. Just one time. I don't ask for a lot. Why are you like this? I don't know. Uh, the deck might need one more land. I can see going to 21 lands. Hey, you're that YouTube guy. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. You like that I didn't play my expedition map because I wanted to, I didn't want to crack this because it would increase the chances of hitting a land. So. Paid off. We got rewarded, guys. We definitely have to get this. We definitely have to play you. Scred, we're probably just playing this. Some faint crime will others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. What if they have Blood Moon? Well, that's just a price we gotta pay, man. I mean, I don't wanna get... I guess we could have gotten, like, planes. Oh, God. Hey, look, they have it. They do. God, I'm so... I hate it. Oh, look, Mike's just gonna show up. He's just gonna... He's just gonna walk right in like he owns the place. It's okay, guys. We have, like, a bunch of basics in the deck. We'll be fine. You guys don't what you you don't you guys don't know about my basics? Hey man. Yeah man. Just need to just peep it. <laughs> just peep your peep oh, your life, man. Oh I've seen it. What are you doing, man? You moving my comics? Well yeah. Alright. I'll just take them, okay? Because you can't be trusted with anything. Gonna move it. With your jelly hands. My jelly hands? Got this got this sweet Spider Man seven ninety nine today. Ooh. Oh, you got it. Nice. Well, this one just came out today, so it's not like it's... Look at all these Mike B's in the chat, man. <laughs> got a little iron fist? Well, he's an adult. He's not a tiny. He's a, he's a grown man. Oh, they're relicking to dig? That's interesting. They have missed two land drops, so... Mike lit rain. Mike stays dry while others feel the pain. Mike lit the rain. That's not a song at all. Why would someone sing Mike lit rain? That doesn't make any sense. So this is some kind of modern deck? Uh, you're some kind of modern deck. Wow. God, what do you, does it bother you to get wrecked this much? A little bit. It's got to be heartbreaking, right? I had a haircut a few weeks ago. Mike just got his haircut the other day. No, I didn't. Who are you who are you responding to? Oh, hi, has Mike had a haircut? Yeah, he just got it like, I think he got it yesterday. I asked him if he got one yesterday, and he said yes. So I did not. I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Blood Mark. Man. Oh, they just scratched my guy. That's so rude. 
The problem with uh with Sutra Priest in this deck is that they have no other targets for their removal, so they just kind of kill your guys. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Not my opponent, the Koth. I mean, that's rude, I think. Remember back in the day when they didn't give your land haste? So they're like, oh, they just keep giving... These stupid players just keep giving their land they just played the ability to attack, and it does... That only happens online. Yeah, I think that's true. Because in real life, you're just like, no, I played this one this turn. Just don't worry about it. Uh, it's fine. What up, pimps? I don't know how I beat a Koth emblem, though. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, no one ever beats a Koth emblem ever. It seems good. I feel like negative five and is... he gets it in two turns? Jeez. Can you stop killing my things, man? I don't think he's going to. You're being really rude right now. Oh, you can make another 4-4, four, four, huh? All right. Ooh, he's going to kill you first. The Koth ultimate or just the mountains? Probably just the mountains. So one thing we are noticing, uh, the biggest problem, I, the, honestly, the biggest problem I've seen so far is that the deck has a hard time dealing with Planeswalkers. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'll just gain five here. Good lord. How do we deal with this next turn? You don't. We don't. Like, that's it. We don't. Do you have O-Ring in this deck? No. We have Anguished on making in the sideboard. Which we're probably just bringing in. Or Leyline. Leyline seems good too, right? My opponent says, I've done it like four or five times now where I animate the summoning sick mountain. I was summoning sick once. You've been summoning sick since you were born, Michael. Wow. That's Michael Anthony James Bartholomew. None of those are my names except for Michael and Bartholomew. <laughs> so, none, so only two of them. None of those are my names except for half of them. But only those. This place Trespasser's Curse? Wow. Yeah, boy, we go deep here. All right, we're going to scoop because this guy is unbeatable. All right, we're definitely bringing in Leyline. How does this deck deal with a Leyline? I guess it just doesn't, right? So we're bringing in Anguished on making Leyline. We can take some of the fogs out because they don't really have a lot of creatures that are coming at us. Holy day. It feels so nice. It's holiday. There's a black fog. I didn't even know that. That's... Okay, you don't have to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's about it, really. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. We don't care about Stony Silence. Bob seems dangerous. Uh, Bob they're just going to kill because they have no targets anyway. I do like that they probably don't have an answer to Phyrexian Arena or Ensnaring Bridge, especially because they didn't see... Any artifacts, but what do I know? All right, ley line. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, real excited. See how excited I got? Yeah, you heard it. Boop. Also, red has no way to deal with enchantments, so that's good to go. Your mom has no way to deal with enchantments. It's true. Because I enchanted her once, and she was like, "I have no way to deal with this," and I was like, "Knew it." I knew it in my bones. In your bones, huh? Oh, that was a great draw, because now we can copy it with the Vesuver. The Vesuver. I really want... I just want to get a Godless Shrine here, but I really also want to get a Black. Our odds of... Why don't you just get a Swamp? Can't see the screen properly? What does that mean, Bjorn? What are you saying right now? Why don't I just get a Swamp? Because mm -hmm. I have Arena in hand. I guess we copy the Swamp? Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, if you're trying to play around... We are. Dat Blood Moon. What are you saying, Bjorn? Are you speaking Swedish right now? Was that a Swedish sentence? Did you get your English and your Swedish confused? 
Oh my god. It's all foggy. Absolutely amazing. Wow. I've never been more proud to be your friend than right now. Oh wow. So good. Man. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oh, God. Pun game on point right there. I literally did not see that coming either. I was like, what are you talking about? And so I looked, I'm looking at the overlay and I'm like, is there something in the way? What's going on? I don't understand the Phyrexian Arena and Snaring Bridge combo. What is that? What are you saying right now? That. Oh, because we draw, draw cards? cards yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. Just because just cause two cards uh, seem to contradict each other doesn't mean you can't play them together. It's a, it's a bit of a non-bow, but not really if you're playing all your cards. Michael, your mother is a bit of a non-bow. Think about that. I'll think about it. All right. Let I me... thought about it. Okay, go on. It didn't make any sense. Dang it. Dang it, Michael. <laughs> Look at all these lulls in the chat. <laughs> oh, man, you exiled my graveyard. I don't have any way to get this stuff back out of there anyway, so... I feel like Chandra is just a, a Phyrexian Arena that also has an ultimate that wins us the, wins them the game. What is it? Whenever you cast this with the five star, any target. Okay, so we are not going to be a target. I will not be a target to you. Well, that was good. That was. I'll never target me or my family again. I'll never let you hurt me again, Chandra. If that is your real name. I bet it is. I don't think she'd lie about that. Why is this deck playing Forbidden Orchard? Or because I give them creatures, and then my Suture Priest takes care of the rest. <laughs> I don't know what Suture Priest does. We literally just cast it. It was literally cast in this game, buddy. Okay. There you go. You good? Yeah. All right. Do I need to up the saturation here? I feel like we're real, we're real pale. How about this? Ooh. <laughs> How about we're real, now we're we're real, real red. red boys? I think we can go to like 160. That seems better. Get a, little, get a little complexion in there. All right, what are we doing here? They don't have any creatures, so we don't care about Riot or Ethereal Haze. I might just want to play Ensnaring Bridge here. I'm pretty sure I do. Now I'll play Courtyard. So they can still attack with their Koth right now, but... I mean, like, the thing is, like, if they even if they make 4-4s, four like, we can still just throw away a Riot Control or something to make sure they... Thank you! Dumal, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 13 months in a row. Welcome back. Yeah, here he is. God, I hate, th I hate this guy. Luckily, the ultimates will not affect you. That's true. Not that mountain will, though. Actually, if you don't, it deals too much to each opponent. That'll still deal us damage, unfortunately. Ooh. Uh, we didn't, we, that's not a makeup effect, it's just a, it's called saturation, it's a regular camera. No, it was makeup, don't okay. lie. Okay, alright, I'm sorry. God, the Forbidden Orchards are great, but without Trespasser's Curse, or Bloodseeker, or Suture Priest. Not as good. It's not as good. Just gonna let double up on the ley lines, boy. <clears throat> Happy Chicken Sunday to you too, KC Soup Forty Three. Oh, uh, why did I ever do that? Every day will be chickens. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh my God. What are you getting here? Snow covered mountain. Oh boy. Bilbo Baggins. Pretty sure we don't take four here. That seems like it's murder. I guess we could have waited till they attacked. Doesn't really matter. Well, good then they tap it, right? So then they get one less mana. Right now they could play a five drop. I really like how you guys touch up your makeup before getting. We don't. We did it on stream. So you're just wrong, Gobble Hunter. We actually wait till we're here, and you guys can watch it happen. I like to, I like for this to be a little, uh, a little. It's, it's, it's magic stream slash makeup tutorial, so you get a little bit of both, you know. That's a lot of ley lines. What's the shrimp cat reference? He's just a cat that looks like a shrimp. 
Aren't we all, though? Aren't we all just cats that look like shrimps? You know what I mean? No. I'm just, living, I'm just living in a world full of cats that look like shrimps. How many ley lines is too many? Answer me that. Uh, seven. Every day. How's this tech win? Arena and bridge are a combo. Yeah, uh, we win by uh, Chicken Sunday. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't have an answer. I, I told you, suit your priests and trespass- trespassers thing, the bridge. We make them a bunch of creatures with this, right? And then they take damage for each one. Oh, we so, make. You, so you're really dependent on that one one? Yeah, or the or the enchantment. Oh, there's enchantment that does. Okay. Trespassers curse. We already played one, haven't we? I don't think so. Every no, day's Chicken you. Sunday, Michael. Okay. God, I don't understand why you're like this. Every day. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. It's really catchy. Why don't you write jingles? That could be your job. Do you know anyone in the jingle industry that can get me in? The jingle industry? Mm-hmm. No. Dang it. I know no one in the jingle industry. Dang it. Every day is a chicken Sunday. Mike's got the jelly brain today. I got the jelly brain every day. He even said jelly brain there, so you can tell. I did not. Yeah, he said I got the jelly brain every day. Maybe. I forgot to get water. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know how you'll survive this long. I'll be honest with you. My email lied to me. This isn't cube. Maybe it is. You don't know. You don't know anything, Chad Bradbury, if that is your real name. Doubt it. Every day is chicken Sunday. Don't know what you're going to play. You have a lot of mana right now. PN. Can they anyone get- through a blood moon? Blood moon doesn't really affect us too much. We have three lands that produce mana. I actually think we have six lands that produce mana. That's fair. That's a good point. Koth Emblem can't target us. We have triple ley lines. It doesn't even make any sense. What are you even saying right now? Are you drunk? Although all these little creek cheeses are... Well, I guess we have fogs. I got fogs for days, boy. We're just going to die to Friction Arena and Chandra. Oh, well, Lightning Bolt. Can't even target me. You might as well just deal the two, because that's, that's that's 66% of the Lightning Bolt. Yeah, but your lands that give other dudes tokens are blood. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't have anything to do with Koth, though. Or that doesn't have to do with uh, Blood Moon. Like, we already have, they already have six dudes. We can, bla- we can Batwing Broom. Ew, mismatching Snowlands. Gross. That's not That's not acceptable. What? You just made my Forbidden Orchard a 4-4? Interesting choice. A bold strategy, Cotton. Huh. He's just trying to help you out. I appreciate that. I don't know why they didn't attack. Like, they could have attacked their bridge there. Oh, look what we just drew. Every day is a chicken Sunday. I'm just going to... That's amazing. Does Hydration Bot have any info on how dehydration causes Jelly Bane? That's a good question. How does it cause Jelly Bane, Michael? Very slowly. Every day. And where can we get all you can eat tacos on a day that isn't Tuesday? Uh, we could have went yesterday, but you were like, oh, I'm a little baby. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I was like, all right. I do remember saying that. It was weird. I don't know why you said it, but. I don't know the language it is. It was your mother's language, Michael. The language of her people. Every day was Chicken Sunday. 
I just gained like a million life. When I was for my drug screening, when they asked for the date, I should have wrote Chicken Sunday. You should have. Then they're like, what day is it? And you're like, Sunday, Chicken Sunday. Oh, so many brooms. I'm going to sweep this match under the rug, boys. Because it was a Batwing broom reference. Because of the broom. It's not the same kind of broom, but you get it. Denying taco eating opportunities is a clear sign of early onset jelly bane. I agree with you. <laughs> I think he would have went yesterday if that jelly bane hadn't gotten to him. Ooh, Stormy? Stormy McBrotherton? I hope you play that guy. You didn't even play that guy? You just dumped me too? You can just attack with him. I have four cards in hand. What problem is? He knows what's going to happen. I think that's true. I think that's accurate. We're going to bat wing broom here. Bat wing broom. This is a Vesuva. That's why. We copied our own Swamp Arena. Vesuva. Oh, no attacks. All right. I accept. When there's trouble, you can call DW. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Uh, we can only broom once on the same combat, right? I mean, we can do it twice, but, like, th I don't see the point, right? Like, I'd rather just do it twice because then we'd save those two combats, right? Oh, we can do it if it just kills them, right? You can cast all three brooms on the same combat. Oh, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Don't have enough mana for that, though. Yeah, we don't have three black, though. The problem is that, like, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. If they if they attack with seven guys, we can actually just kill them. That's amazing. Well, they're only they're only at twenty. They're at twenty right now, not eighteen. So, they would have to activate the other guy. I don't know about two turns. What do you mean you don't know about two turns? I'm saying we lose in two turns. Also, we don't have three black, so. Not with that attitude. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what you're saying right now. Why aren't they attacking? This is so funny. They've got the soul read on the... The fog spell in your hand. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, that's a good one. That does a thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Quattro brooms. Well, we can get rid of Chandra here, which is really our problem. Yeah, we take three to do it, and we go to three. That's fine. Uh, but then we don't have any white or black on our turn, which is a problem. No. Oh. So here's another issue, right? Like, we actually, if we go Anguished on Making on Blood Moon, we take three. And Chandra kills us pretty quickly. Oh, Orchards do gain us life with Curse, though. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet. Let's do that. I could see them blowing the Ratchet Bomb in response. Oh, they're putting Counter on in response. That's actually significantly better for us. Now, once we get to the four, we're in trouble, though. Chicken Sunday! <laughs> What'd you say to me? When they get to four, we're in trouble. For what? Four ratchet bomb counters. Well, yeah, but we'll win by then. Uh, I surely hope so. No, I don't think they're ghosting us. Doesn't seem like it. I don't know whether they're not attacking though. That seems weird to me. Look, they attacked. There you go. Go back to two. I'll take one.
Interesting. Cough emblem. Yeah, so they just untap, they put Ratchet Bomb on four, and then they blow up all the ley lines. That's pretty bad. And then they have Koth Emblem and Chandra, so. I just don't get, I don't understand why they wouldn't swing. Like, it would actually force us to play, like, Ethereal Hazes, or, like, I mean, if we have Fogs, cool, but, like, you're getting them out of our hand every single turn, so I don't understand why you wouldn't swing there. I mean, it's, yeah, but that's super weird that you'd expect me to have Batwing Broom. Like, that's a very weird card to play around. I assume most people don't even know that card exists. Actually, yeah, all right, so you get that, then you kill your guys. Sure. Yeah, I don't get it. That's very weird that you're playing around my Batwing Brooms. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> that's so strange, man. Actually, playing incorrectly is the correct play there. I, I don't understand. Like, I have Ensnaring Bridge. I have four cards in hand. I don't know why you're not a tank. I don't get it. Maybe they were ghosting. Okay. I mean... Uh, Bowing Broom only deals damage for the amount of creatures that are attacking, not if, uh... Yeah, I mean, like, if you're gonna ask if I'm streaming, and then you're going to play around Batwing Broom. Like... More power to you. Alright, you got it. I mean... You won the Scred versus the Fog matchup in the friendly queue. That's, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but they didn't. They weren't talking like they were watching from the beginning. They actually said, "Hey, you're that YouTube guy." They weren't familiar with me, right? They didn't like, "Hey, I just watched you build this deck, so I'll switch. I'll, you know, watch. I'll, I won't, whatever." Um, it was just, it was literally like, "Hey, you're that YouTube." Like, I was the YouTube guy. I wasn't the Twitch guy. So you wouldn't associate me with YouTube first if you were literally watching me stream today. Uh, I don't think we can keep this hand. Hmm. Got there. All right, let's do it. Like, and, and the funny thing is, like, that is actually the last round was a technical victory. Um, we just weren't able to clinch it because they played around Batwing Broom. It's very strange. I mean, hey. If you're that desperate to win, knock yourself out. Not saying you were not saying you were ghosting. If you weren't ghosting, no harm, no foul. If you were, well, cool beans. A curse, I say. A curse on both your houses, my friend. The guy back a few weeks ago that we knew was ghosting and you covered up your hand doesn't have a Twitch account anymore? Really? How do you know that? How do you know these things? How do you remember that? That was amazing. I did target them with this, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I messed up the last time. You targeted yourself with it? No. <laughs> so that means 
that they get all the beneficial. No, triggers? whenever a creature enters battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player loses a life and I gain a life. So I would lose and gain a life. I would just break even. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Now I'll attack you for two whole damages. Two whole health points, my friend. Hmm. Did I just run out Bloodseeker? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, did we take eight here? Ugh, gross. Vomit. You have two cards in hand? I mean, no nade's not so bad. Going to, going to eight's not so bad. All right, we'll just play Bloodseeker. I like to live dangerously. This is where they go sword, equip sword, kill you. It's going to be a sword of fire and ice. So it's exactly one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 12. And the double triggers from the sword. It's exactly. Oh my God. Here we go. In before sword of fire and ice. <sighs> Man, if that happens. Wow. That'd be amazing. All right. looks like we're getting off easy. What's going on over there? I think that's laundry. Guys, he's always doing laundry while we're streaming. Unbelievable, that guy. <laughs> Man, no might evokes? All right. Well, you got it. I understand. Oh, geez, might evokes. Might You'd be dead af. You'd be dead. You, you would be. I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry if that was real loud. It's got a nice fuzzy to protect it, but, you know. It's got a nice fuzzy. <laughs> That's what I always say. Always yes to this. There's never going to be a situation where I'm like, no, no. You keep, you, you keep your life good, sir. Our opponent's basically dead, right? Did you get rid of my land? God, you're the rudest person I've ever met. That's for sure. Wait, no. you can do that? Yeah, but then it comes back. But they flicker with an EOT, so it comes back during the next end step. <laughs> oh, They're that's rude. So that is rude. That's rude af. You're right. It's rude af. Did it sound like thunder? Ooh, that's interesting. Now I know that's a special effect we can the add. The sound of thunder. And I have to pay two life if I want it untapped. I don't think I want it untapped. Unless you got a spell queller, in which I'm gonna be like, well, mistakes are made. I guess we can just ethereal haze instead, just to be safe. I need to have one card in hand. Why are we saying af in a weird way? I don't, I don't understand the question. I don't follow. Oh, you don't want to come with? You don't, you don't want to come, come strong with that flicker wisp tech? Blah. I'm just going to get hazing. Just going to haze you, brah. <laughs> oh that michael scott cringe face is such a good addition to the emotes man i am such a fan always yes always yield i don't care i don't want to have to be i do not want to be bothered by these be these triggers any longer i cannot be bothered by such things <laughs> looking for a clean sweep <laughs> that's a little broom you were michael I got you. A little broomer, if you will. Broomer. That's right. That's broom you are. Oh, what's going on, Luke? Good seeing you, buddy. Um, do we just play this guy? Blah, 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 blah. If he has another flicker wisp, we would die, right? You would die. They also have one card in hand, right? I think I'm gonna I'm a gambling man. But he's a gambling. Are they cracking their Horizon Canopies? Their Obi-Wan Horizon Canopies? See my comment on your set review. Is it just now? Did I just... Is it new? Or... Or... Who are you? On... On YouTube. Is your name different? Do you have a different YouTube name than a Twitch name? And we're joined by the Ice Chew region himself. <laughs> Good times. 
No blocks. No attacks. No things that involve combat. Oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, boy. You're a real... No, I did have it. Oh. You're history's greatest monster for sure. Uptight. Everything is alright. Do 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 Actually, we gained like a million here, so whatever. Maybe we're still alive. We go to 14. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. Oh, yeah, we're, we're still fine. So many triggies. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We're not dead yet. We gain like six life here, four life here. We go to 14. I mean, they think they... We might have actually made a guy, because if we make a guy, we gain two more life, so... And then we only take one extra point, so... You know. Everything is alright. Up time. Out of sight. What do we take? Four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven? I'll go to three. That's fine. Oh, you're gonna... You're gonna... What are you gonna do? You're paying... Oh. I wasn't gonna do anything anyway. I wasn't even gonna do anything. You thought I was going to block? Shoot. You don't know me. I'm alive. I want to give you a guy right now. Oh my god, you're going to kill two lands? You have no soul, my friend. Have another guy. Have a guy on me. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. I think they win. We can't do anything. I'm really going to bow wing broom and kill them, I think. Three, four. Really? Really? <laughs> Come on, man. So they can't play any creatures or else they die, which is pretty cool. And we have plenty of ways to, uh, any, any creature into play dies. How come, shouldn't they have gone to one instead? Weren't they at five? I think so. What did I miss there? They attack with four guys, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, they were at six. I understand now. I know, I actually mentioned the giving them... I, I mentioned the orchard tap. Like, I literally said it. You guys don't have to... You know, guys don't have to clarify that I missed the thing that I literally talked about missing. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Come on, get it together. Excuse me? And we've got at least three turns here, so... Four turns. All right. Well... Did you guys see me miss the, the orchard tap? I didn't even realize when I did that. Did I... Did I miss an orchard tap? That's weird. One time for Ben Orchard. I will also accept not that. Land's still pretty good because next turn we can Frixie Arena. No. I agree with you. It's not terrible. Although Arena is slightly risky. We got five turns. 
Hey Frank, when you clarified talking about talking about missing a line of play, you didn't clarify by clarifying that you were talking about talking about missing a line of play. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. When Flicker was bounced off of Resto, he targeted. I know. I, I'm literally. We're talking about the same thing. I said. I. I actually. I should have. I'm, I'm going to go to three. I should have given them one more guy because I gain two and only take one. I, I literally said the words. Say it again. Say it to me. Like, also, I don't know what it helps. Like, we're past that point. We've acknowledged it. It's, uh, we're done. Moving on. All right. A bold strategy, but we're actually running out of hazes here. We actually have five. We have two expedition, three ex, two expedition maps, and three forbidden orchards in the in the in the deck still, and also three batwing brooms. So we have a lot of. Uh... All right, gotta hit something here. Hmm. Chris doesn't do anything, right? Is where priest blocks. Yeah, priest does block, but then they can't. They just attack with both these guys instead. I think we just died. Yeah, but then they risk dying to our Bruna. Fair. Hmm. Hmm. No, they can just attack with one. They oh, have yeah, exalted. exalted. Yeah. God, it's so close every time, man. Let's see what the next card would have been. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. Okay, I see. I understand. All right, take a darkness, take a holy day. I don't like the bridges in the deck because okay. they are kind of a, a non-combo with Phyrexian Arena. What are you bringing in? Uh, I like Dark Confidants here. Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Don't. Just stop it. Bobby. No. It's always there. It's literally always on top. The next card you draw will always win you the game. Or me, anyway. I don't know. Oh, look at this bottle cap accomplishment where I didn't actually break the seal. It just sort of popped right off. Like, I can just what? push it right back on. Whoa. Well, the little thing didn't break. It's like a defect. Yeah, I, this could have poison in it. I don't know. Someone could have... Someone could have put some kind of... Some type of what? Some kind of toxin in there. Fries, peanut butter, jelly time. Good times. Good times. What does Rakdos Charm do? One damage to people for their attacks. For right? each creature. Each creature does one damage to its control. That's actually pretty good. Also, destroying an artifact or exiling a card from a graveyard is pretty good, too. Like, all those effects all are cards. relevant. Relevant. It's actually pretty good. So here's what I think about this deck so far. I actually like the idea a lot. I think it might benefit a lot from a third color, whether it's blue, green, or red. Um... I have to mulligan here. Oh, it also Oof. does kill twin. Hmm. Uh, that's not a legal modern strategy, but yes, that is correct. You can play it with um, the other boy. Going to four here, guys. Not I. All right, we're keeping. Oh, got there. Nailed it. The only problem I see with Rakdos Charm is that it's not a fog, whereas Batwing Broom is both a fog and a way to kill them. But you're usually not playing this until you kill them anyway, so they usually... But, I mean, you could deal seven and then prevent the damage, and then next turn deal another seven. Um... Never mull past five. Aggressive. Aggressive. 
Yeah, that's annoying. That is annoying. I don't actually think we have any, have any way to deal with that. Nope. Yep, that's pretty bad. Dally is like my most hated card of all time. It's not... It's not good. She She's not good. Okay. <laughs> I sent you a sweet surprise when you get done with it. Where did you send it? I don't understand. Brian, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got you got these guys out, so I can't actually get my land. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's fun. I'm having a good time. All right. Well, I'm gonna concede here because even if we somehow come back from the six six damage on board when we can't cast any of the spells in our hand, um, fun times. Not not really a good fun game. Well, you got me a mulligan forward and you kill my only land. That's you're a real big. You're a real big man. You're a real big man. Pick a man when he's down. Why don't you? Uptight. Everything is alright. Brian, I don't see anything from you on Facebook, buddy. Are you sure you sent me something on Facebook? Oh, you did. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. I, well done. <laughs> I have no idea. What to make of this? Oh boy, well, that's incredible. Yeah, Felipe's vacuuming. He's like, "Hey, you guys are streaming. I'm gonna vacuum and run my laundry all at the same time." It's actually incredible. <laughs> so uh, apologize for that, guys. It's got. It can't be that loud, right? Someone heard it and said something, so it's loud enough. Oh, he's done. No, he's never done. Uptight, Mike B is all right. He's not. He's not all right. He's got the... What was it? The brain pain? What was it called? The brain pain. I don't know what it was called. <laughs> it was the jelly like... brain is what you're looking oh, for. Oh, the jelly bane is what I'm looking for. Because you, yeah. you don't know how English works. So. You don't know how English works. Remember the time we used to get... Um, Swifty? We used to get tacos on Tuesday, and then you're like, Nah, man, I don't want that anymore. Well, we can like, get tacos next Tuesday. Okay, that's weird. It's pretty far, though. Next Tuesday, wow, that's only like seven days away. Yeah. It's ironic that vacuums are so loud. John, that's a good point, buddy. Because they're vacuums. They should be sucking in all the noise and re removing sound from the environment, but... That's not how no. it works. He's got shit to do just like people do. No, his other his thing to do was to get alternative food. That's the thing he had to do. It's not like he was like, oh, I was too busy to get tacos because I had other plans. No, he just he just decided on different food. That's all. Well, I had a premeditated steak dinner, so. How premeditated was it? They invited me over like three days ago. Okay. Well, that's pretty premeditated then. Hey, just to be clear, you're, oh, it's gone now. Well, I could have thought of it and been like, hey, can we do that Wednesday? Because there's no, there's no good deals on a Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Infinite tacos on a Tuesday night <laughs> is where you want to be, though. Infinite tacos every day. Don't get mad at Mike B. He might have just not felt... He totally felt like tacos that day. I feel like tacos every day. Guys, there's you not, don't get it. not a day when I don't want tacos. I, I'm not giving him an unreasonably hard time. It's not like I don't know the situation that happened. And I'm like, I don't know what he was doing. I He might not He might not have even want... I think he wanted tacos. I know he wanted tacos. He didn't have plans. He just chose to eat different food. That's, that's what's going on here. I'm talking with 100% knowledge of the situation. That's all. Man, you really got got tilted over that. Well, because everyone's like giving me a hard time. Like, I'm giving you a hard time about a situation I'm completely unaware of. Oh, I that's... know all the details, and I'm choosing to give you a hard time based on those details. That scam strange job was definitely a scam, so we figured it out. Yeah, it was, it was, it was basically a Nigerian prince, so... Basically, they sent me money in order for me to withdraw and give it back to them, which would then later get... Me owing the bank money because the check will never clear. Brickbeard, Brickbeard, totally fine. I'm just, I, <laughs> I just got triggered. I got real triggered. Yeah, you did. Oh Jeez. man. Oh look, this combo again. This you old chestnut again. Boy. Um. So okay, so the scam job. Let's talk about that for a second because it was a very funny situation actually. 
So Mike was on. I don't like, think it was very funny. I, I actually, it really sucks because that would have been a sick job. Cheshire Pratt, who are you on YouTube? I don't. I never, I never know people's YouTube names because I just know them from from Twitch, and I think their YouTube names are different sometimes. Oh God, this old chestnut again. We're doing this again on turn. T it's just like a turn three win. <laughs> I got ballista. All right, cool. Good game. Wait, what? Uh, they're just going to make infinite mana, play walking ballista, and kill us. That's all oh. they're doing. It's very fun. Oh, right. Because of uh, Devoted Druid and that untappy yep. thing. Untappy, make crappy artifact. Yep, good times. What's Cutco? What is that? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Uh, what were you on? Indeed? Is it called Indeed.com? Is that the website? Indeed? Yeah, Indeed. Okay, so there's a website, there's a job website called Indeed, right? And Mike was just looking for jobs. Uh, and apparently they sent you a message. Yeah, they sent me And they email. were like, hey, here's this job, 27 bucks an hour. Um, you know, we, we need you to buy, like, some software and equipment, but we send you money for that up front. And you just... Uh, pay for it with that right so it wasn't even like it's not like a pyramid scheme in the sense that like hey you have to buy a bunch of our software for the job you know so it's not like they're trying to sell you their own products to get this job oh someone tried to get me with cutco once actually i went to an interview for cutco and didn't realize what it was i don't even know what that is i've it's never a pyramid heard... scheme for selling knives interesting how is it still around Cutco probably asked you to sell knives. Now it's getting sued. That's a headline. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. All right. So anyway. Um, um, yes, I will play first. So um, they sent me a check for $6,480. That was the day. If you guys were on stream, that was the day where Mike's like, yeah, I think that job is real, man. Because the, like three days later, he's FedExed like overnight or whatever, a check for $6,400. Which is supposed to cover all of the And it software. looked legit. Like we looked it over. It looked legit. It's, it's, Bank, like, of it's America. Bank of America. It's got the name. It's got the, the address. It's got the company name on the, it's got the, like the, the, the letterhead on the, on the check itself. It was impressive. We were just like, all right, man, I guess that's the thing. But when it got scammy was when they were like, okay, now you need to go withdraw all that money. And it was before the check. Cleared. Yes. So Mike went to deposit the check. It deposited, obviously, because he went through, you know, it, 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 it's not going to clear immediately. Right. So he deposits the money and then they're like, all right, hey, we need you to take out this much of it. You can keep two hundred and ten dollars as a sign on bonus, but we need to take the rest and send it to our vendor. Right. And that's how he gets the software. And he had to buy a printer as well. And keep in mind, one thing I thought was uh, interesting for this whole interview he didn't actually talk to a person face to face, right? There was no phone interview. He never heard anyone's voice. There was no face contact. You know, he was never at this place, this location to get interviewed. Uh, they didn't even do like a Google Hangout where like you, you saw them. It was all like a Google Hangout via text, right? Like all words. Like he typed something, yeah. they typed it back. He typed something, they typed it back. That was the extent of the interaction with this company who just sent him a $6,000 check. And I was like, oh no, man, that's a little bit iffy. But, but yeah, the, I of saw course, the, the check didn't clear. So, so yeah, he, he goes to look in his bank account and the check was removed. And so he messages these people and he's like, hey, guys, just want to let you know the, uh, you know, the check didn't clear. Um, Haven't heard from him since. And then they kind of ghosted on him. So that was pretty amazing. I was like, wow, if you spent that money preemptively, like I'd be dude, if I spent like five hundred dollars, I'd be so screwed. It's, it's not good. I just I paid one. I just added one. We're gonna mow black and one. There we go. When I went to deposit my paycheck for a job, the bank kept it and called the police. Then my boss threatened me by saying he was going to call the cops on me if I didn't get the money back. Wow. That sounds much worse. It's not good. I'm going to get some water. Mm -hmm. It was weird because the check looked totally legit. I would not have. I Even I looked at it. 
And I'm really suspicious about stuff like that. So I'll like look at it close. I'll look for watermarks. I'll look for all the, all the telltale signs, you know. And um, it looked legit. Plus, we Googled the name of the company. Everything lined up. But I guess you can pretty much say anything on... Uh, You can pretty much say anything online if you're not actually having to meet these people or go to their location or whatever. Do the ball cap trick, Mike. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are amazing. Hey, who wants to bet how solid Mike's water is going to be? This is amazing. Cheshire Pratt, what was your YouTube name? Did you mention it? I forgot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, Cutco. What are the odds? And they're like, yeah, sell it to your family and friends. <laughs> like, what? So my business is just literally selling things to people I know and love. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. It was funny because we were real hyped about it too up until the point where like it was a scam and we were like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Time. Vector marketing. It also sounds like a scam. I just thought I was like, wow, like they said they were like they were offering like twenty seven, like twenty seven dollars an hour, and I was like, it's too much. I, at that point, I was like, huh, that's a lot to work from home and like never have met people. Like if someone's if a company's offering you twenty seven thousand dollars, like a fifty k job, a twenty seven dollars an hour, fifty k job. Um, they're going to meet you face to face and have a phone call with you before they send you a $6,000 check. That is my opinion. Yes, I got another job. I got big Suchi. I got scammed once, ended up embroiled in this crazy payment scheme for about four years. Then all I got was this degree certificate. A company called College, I think. Chester Pratt, what did you say your your YouTube name was? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're Tequila Shooter? That's amazing. Man. What do you say? We're crossing the streams. Oh, I, I like a bunch of stuff. He comments all the time. I hate his guts. <laughs> I'm going to hide him from my channel. My former room worked for them and was all super into it. And everyone he knows told him it was a scam. And over a summer as a student, I think he made like 50 bucks for the summer. Despite being told he would make a bunch. Yeah, they're always like, you can make thousands of dollars. You can make $2,000 a week. On your own time. Oh, with path. your own schedule. Interesting. They path their own guy. You're you're welcome. Did I pour him to the BBB? No. Because I don't think they're a real company. It was probably just a dude on Indeed who posed as a, a, a fake dude. And then he just wants you to like, hey, give this $6,000 to my bro Steve. And, uh, you know, and, and in my head, I'm just like, they gave you a check for $64,000, $6,400. And they want you to pay the vendor to get the software and the, and the printer. Why don't they just give the money to the vendor instead? It just didn't make any sense. I was just like, what? Can't you do that? Why are they like going through you as a middleman? Can't they just give you the 210 sign on bonus and. Or just send me the software? Yeah, I don't know. It's all. It was all very weird. Like a lot of it just didn't make sense. It was. It very much epitomized the if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Juposhi, what are you even saying right now? Oh! I got scammed once, ended up and embroiled in this crazy payment scheme for about four years. Then all I got was these bogus certificates. Company was called College. <laughs> fantastic. Just fantastic. I'm such a big fan of you. Why would they just attack with this guy? What do you think I have for one mana? 
I don't understand. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Nature's Little Treasure is Juposhi. Um, you changed it. They the Juposhi screen name. His email address for Juposhi was a college email address, so they he he no longer has it. Mm. Sixty eight hundred for software is super cheap too. No way you're getting it for that cheap. That's a good deal for software. I was I was thinking that same thing. God, look at all these cards I'm drawing. None of them are lands. <laughs> are you ready for the old uh the old thing? The old thing that they do? I don't know what that means. You know what I'm saying. They're just going to go collected company. They're going to hit both of their targets, and they're going to go in for the next turn. You ready? Oh, we're still in the main phase. That's cool. <sighs> here we go. Kitchen Finks. That's not a target. Vizier. All right. So you take a million here. That's pretty good. So you literally go to two here? I guess you're gaining two, so you're going to four. Six, rather. That's what I meant. Not four. I don't Two, know, four, six, whatever. I meant four after we activate this guy. Uptight, Michael B is all right. So Devoted Druid can't activate this turn, so that seems good. Boom, 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 boom. They take three actually for every. Oh, that's pretty good. I think they're dead here. Oh, yeah. This is death. I don't even know if we show them the broom. We might just actually play around that. How else are we going to kill? We deal them three with this, and then we, we next turn we untap and deal them another three. Is that greedy? I don't know. Maybe not, actually. Because keeping that secret is pretty... It's definitely Pretty relevant cute. for these alphas that they do. Everything is all right. I will not block any of your creatures. Can I get you another thing? I want to pay for Haze with Orchard. It just didn't matter at that point. What are you doing here? You collect the company? Don't you just lose? Court of Calling for one. What does this do? What do you have for one? Are you just killing yourself in response? I don't understand. Viscera Seer. Okay. Oh, you're stacking Kitchen Finks. That's pretty good. That's pretty... Hey, that's pretty good. So you take three, six... Yeah, but you take three for the two that you gain, right? Don't you actually take more damage than you gain? Like... I think so. Yeah, that's bad, man. When did I start playing Magic? Um... Oh, but they have Vizier of Remedies. All right, that's fair, I guess. Sure, well, this is obnoxious, so I'm just going to auto-yield all Kitchen Finks. And... Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God, what have we done? Oh, I, yeah, they take one more damage than they gain. So it's actually not Infinite Life, because theirs never resolves. <laughs> I was like, oh, I die. <laughs> I also kind of like rest in peace just for situations like that, right? And I also like Stony Silence because it stops Ballista. So, like, we have all these cards that stop their things, but... Stony Silence seems legit. Well, we have Leyline already. Oh. 
I don't know what else they can't hit us with. What is does it shut off anything else? I don't think so. I mean, so they both do the same thing, really. Yeah. Hunter, stop! God, he's always licking, dude. Hunter's got a licking problem. And he only does it when we stream. I've never, I never hear him lick when I'm just like hanging out. I'm gonna take out the bridges. I don't actually like the bridges in the deck, so we're gonna take out bridges and we'll bring in a rest in peace instead. Mike's got a licking problem. Click, click. Ten seems good. Licking problem. This does seem good. I'll keep it. I'll keep it, I will. Chicken Sunday. All right, you got it. I don't think I ever answered it. I think I read, when did you start playing Magic? And then I literally never answered it. Um, I started playing Magic in Revised. When I was a young boy. Oh, Leyline does shut off Thoughtseize as well. I don't think they're playing Thoughtseize, though. When I was a young boy. I don't actually like that song at all. Really? I actively dislike that song. Why? I just I think it's stupid. I think it's a stupid song. That's aggressive, and I apologize, but it's a stupid song. Well, why do you think it's stupid? I don't, I don't know. The lyrics just seem silly. Like, it seems really silly to me. It seems like... Okay, so it seems like they're... Si I don't know. I can't. I can't. I'm on the spot right now. I just know I don't like it. I do. It's a feeling I get. I'm just like, I listen to the song and it feels... That's fine. You can not like it. It feels things. stupid. I enjoy it. Also, the other the other song I don't like is the Fall Out Boy song. Oh, good. The Infinite Man on turn three. The Fall Out Boy song that's like, um, you'll remember me for centuries. And I'm just like, you're just a, you're just a fa Fall Out Boy, right? Like, no one's going to do that. <laughs> No one's going to care in centuries. You're going to be gone. Why is this all a lyric for a, a, a song, a Fall Out Boy song? Not, not decades, centuries. Yeah, it's not That's like real you'll ambitious. remember for years. You'll remember. It is a pretentious song. And it's funny because I don't think that's a pretentious band. I think it's actually just like a goofy pop band, right? Is it like Panic at the Disco or something? My Chemical Romance? Who is that song? I don't even know who that band is. It's one of those bands. It was Black my chemical runs. Welcome to welcome to the Black Parade. Like, oh god, that is so pretent pretentious. I think the Fall Out Boy song is much more pretentious. All right, so who are they singing about in the Fall Out Boy song? I don't know why I, I I don't know I put song Fall Out Boy song I don't know how Google works. Yeah, this is great. This is a. I love that like some matches with some like some leagues we play and we're like oh cool three out of five lantern decks oh cool three out of five. Vizier of Remedies Devoted Druid decks. So what do you do with this infinite mana? Uh they get they get walking ballista and they kill us. But how? They they activate oh. this and just keep they just keep going until they find it. Gotcha. I'll probably have to do this until time runs out. <laughs> I mean, I'll likely scoop. But I feel like you might have brought this on yourself. Like, I don't understand, like, I'll probably have to do this until time runs out. Well, yes, you chose this deck, did you not? I don't understand. Much easier in paper. That is true. <laughs> like, I mean, what? Like, I'm going to choose the deck where I literally have to click the same card like 27,000 times. And then bemoan the fact that I went on turn three while I click the same card. So, oh, my life of inconveniences. Anyway, I'll give it to you. I can't beat that. So, either way, one f one. Did we win a match? I thought we won a match. Did we not win a match? I don't did, think you did. Did we come close? One one. Oh, we didn't win a match. That is sad. Not a good sign. All right, so let's. How do I get out of here? This is so confusing. Magic Online, you are not a fun interface. All right. So one thing we've realized, I don't like Ensnaring Bridge and Phyrexian Arena, right? Like, because you're filling your hand. Your idea is to fill your hand. And so this is contradictory to that. So get out of here, Ensnaring Bridge. 
hit the bricks, as the kids say. Also, the fact that we have four Forbidden Orchards main uh, makes the deck a little easier to splash a card, right? Like, we just... It's very easy. We can just splash more cards. Um, so I almost think, like... I mean, it's fine to make them show you the Ballista, but, like, they're going to have to, like, find it with Duskwatch Recruiter. I don't care enough to do it. It's not worth our time, right? Like, I'd rather just get to talking about the deck. Um, Ghostly Prison could be good, but the problem is that that contradicts Batwing Broom, right? We want them to be able to attack with their 1-1s, one which is why we have Essence Scatter, or Essence Ensnaring Bridge. Um, so then they can attack with all the 1-1s one we gave them, which is which is going to be plentiful. And then we Batwing Broom them, right? Um, the problem with Ghostly Prism is that it means they only attack with their big guys, and they attack with like two or three of them, and Batwing Broom loses the effectiveness of it. So you don't really want... Um, you don't really want to bring in Ghostly Prism. Ghostly Prism isn't a replacement for, for Ensnaring Bridge in this type of deck, unfortunately. Um, there was that one match where you forgot to tap the Orchard. I, we even mentioned that, so I think that was um, a technical victory. So I think that's actually... Fine. I think we had two Rakdos Charm. Call it a day. Two Rakdos Charm. Call it a day. I mean, two Rakdos Charm is pretty reasonable. This is why I board out Ballista. No one ever makes you have it. Interesting. Makes me wonder if they did have it then. What about the Zendikar enchantment, the one that makes... I mean, the, the problem is that, like, even if they don't have it, they can still Court of Calling for infinite creatures. They can make infinite mana and cast all the things they hit with Collected Companies. Like, they can still find every green creature in their deck and just play them all in one turn. So, I mean, like, we may have a game, but it's not a good one. Uh, what about the Zenicar enchantment, the one that makes angels? Oh, Luminarch Ascension. That's actually... I kind of like that. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if you didn't lose life this turn, you may put a quest counter on Luminarch Ascension. That actually seems good. I like two Luminarch Ascensions a good deal. And they gain you life with Suture Priest. Um, we might not need Bloodseeker at that point. We could probably cut the Bloodseeker. Um, really? That was only one of, I guess. Yeah, it was just one of. We have Suture Priest and we have Batwing Broom. But this is also an alternate win condition, so we don't need as many Suture Priests at this point. Um, <laughs> Mesmeric Orb. Wow, that is an interesting sideboard inclusion, actually. I don't think that's indicative of the metagame, though, per se. Um, and I also think three ley lines is probably going to be fine most of the time. Uh, map was fine. Map was fine. It helped us. I mean, like, we only drew them certain times. It's We didn't have enough. I don't think we have enough data to say that map was terrible just because we didn't draw it a bunch, right? But, yeah, Mesmeric Orb. and But the, the problem is Juposhi, uh, if they're taking that amount of time to find Kasali Pride Mage, they're probably milling themselves. And they could also just mill the Kasali Pride Mage as well, so... You know, it's not really um, super efficient as an answer. Um, uh, third Luminar Ascension. Three Luminar Ascensions, you think? Maybe. Norn's why? Annex. So you guys say Norn's Annex, but why would Norn's Annex be better than Ghostly Prison? Like, I don't think that makes much sense, right? Creatures can't attack you or a Planeswalker unless their controller pays Phyrexian mana for each of those creatures. So that's just basically like... I mean, it's... It deals them damage, I It guess. deals them damage. It's bad if they play white, though. I don't know. I don't think Emrakul through the breach is actually a, a, a super big concern. Like we can't if we're gonna if we're gonna prepare for every single eventuality that's possible in modern. I I think we're gonna be here for a lot longer. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We could just play Leyline of Sanctity, and then and that way Emrakul can't target us. <laughs> that doesn't work in any way, shape, or form, guys. Don't 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 try that. I like Luminarch Ascension actually. I think Luminarch Ascension is actually a really good addition to the deck. Um, it does kind of defeat the uh, the deal them damage with the Forbidden Orchard purpose, but like not really because you're fogging, right? The the whole thing is to fog. I do like Path as well, just because it would deal with certain problematic creatures. Um, I also think Fatal Push is fine, but Fatal Push you don't have many ways to trigger the Fatal Push is the problem. Um, we might be able to just cut Expedition Map. I don't see any reason to though. 
Actually, Pithing Needle is probably really good. I like Pithing Needle a lot. Surprisingly good because it answers planes. It answers everything from the Planeswalkers that we had trouble with um, to, you know, Devoted Druid. Does it answer Devoted Druid? That is a mana. No, the untap ability is not a mana ability, so that's pretty good. It would answer that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like Pithing Needle. I would put Pithy Needle in, and I would put three over the bo the Bobs, and maybe even put Bobs in the main deck. Yeah, you lose life here. So what does this say? Uh, if you didn't lose life, that's kind of a. Oh, it said that it's the opponent's turn. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool then. Um, I would actually cut one whole set of Fogs. I'm not sure what they'd be though. I think we can cut down on one Riot Control because we don't need four. This is the most expensive card in our deck. Um, cut down on one Dawn Charm. Cut one Darkness. So what is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is still 16 Fogs, which is a good amount. Oh, actually it's like 20 Fogs still. I think you can go down to 16 Fogs in this deck, especially because you have Dark Confidence and Phyrexian Arenas. Um, I think Ethereal Haze is just better than Holy Day. Because you can actually respond to a Ballista on the stack with the Early Haze and just give yourself an extra turn. So I would cut two of these. And Bowing Broom is actually... It's a two mana... It's better than Dawn Charm, I think. But Dawn I don't Charm, know how many Fog do you want to cut, though. Like, you need those. Right, but now we have Dark Confidants, which draws us more of them. I would definitely put two Paths in the deck. I think they're just super useful. So I think, actually, this is probably where I'd end up. I kind of like this configuration. Um, this way, we, we cut down on some of the the, the redundant um, the redundant fog effects. But now we also have... Lingering Souls could be go to Suture Priest. It is an option. But we still have the Trespasser's Curse. We still have Batwing Brooms. We still have uh, Suture Priests. And we still have Forbidden Orchard combos. So, not terrible. Isochron Scepter is a pretty cool option. Um, no beats. The problem with illness in the ranks is that we want them to attack so we can batwing broom them. Like that's actually what we want to be doing. Well, the problem is like dark confidence, not only turning on a rule because you also have suture priest. So like, I don't know. Knight's whisper draws us two cards. Dark confident has the potential to draw us more than that. But I, I do like I, I, I do like the potential of this now because I think Luminarch Ascension is a pretty good addition. I got excited that I remembered that card. No worries. That's actually uh I don't know about Zer. Zer's like four mana adds you need another color and he has to attack. Like it's a lot to ask for. Yeah, I think I think sixteen fogs is still reasonable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, it's eighteen. Eighteen fogs. But now we have two paths to deal with other answers. We also have Pithing Needle in the sideboard. We have more card drawing, which is nice. And we also have Illuminarch Ascension, which is an alternate win condition. Uh, that also works great with the Fogs. I would actually cut one map. Just play the map as a one-of to hit your take your Forbidden Orchard. And actually just add another another Concealed Courtyard. Because lands were definitely an issue for us. Um, I would definitely try this out. I think that, honestly, I mean, we went 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two, and then we lost our other matches. But the deck was cool. I felt like I was doing cool stuff. And also, if you are able to, like, I mean, like, we missed one point with the Forbidden Orchard, so I think we actually could have won a match there. But I think this deck is definitely worth tweaking and at least having fun with it. Um, I, I I think it was cool. I had a good time, and I think uh, I think this, I think it gave us a good idea of what to add or what to change in the deck. With, like, a 21 lands, I think, is definitely where you want to be. I think 22 might be too many, which is a weird thing to say, because it's still not a lot. Um, and I also didn't have a problem with any of the sideboard options. Maybe you can cut one Anguished on making because you do have two paths in the main deck now. Eh, I don't know. It's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, Connor Ryan said, hear me out here. So it's going to be ridiculous. Esper Charm. What does that, what does that do? Blasphemous Act. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, dang oh, it. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, I would cut one Anguish on making and just add... Uh, why not Angel Song? Because Angel Song requires you to be at dead, right? Angel Song or Angel's Grace? Angel Song, huh? What is that? I don't even know. Where is that? 
Oh, Angel Song. Um, because it's worse than Dawn Charm, I think. And it's also, like, it's worse than all the other two mana ones. Like, preventing a counter tar- counter spell that targets you is pretty good. Like, that can just be very good in, uh, in Modern. And the cycling just doesn't, like, you usually don't want to cycle your, your, your fogs. You want to just play them. Panharmonicon, what would that do for this deck? Yeah, I don't understand Panharmonicon either. Like, does it just trigger extra Suture Priest? I don't, does that even work? It's like four mana to do that. I, I like one Disenchant in the sideboard. I'm a big Disenchant fan, as you guys probably know. I'll use this old school Disenchant. Yeah, I like this. I think this is good. And, um... Yeah, I would actually say... Well, because Anguish and Making is also acting as a Disenchant, so it's kind of like a third, a third Disenchant. Um... I, uh, that seems excessive. I'd rather just give them more creatures, right? Is there a card that, like, puts X number of counter... Like, as, as opposed to, like, the hidden creatures? Like, I don't know. But, either way, this deck seems sweet. Cody, thank you so much for letting me try it out. Really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to have your own deck critiqued or uh, have me look at something, feel free to check out my Twitch profile. There's a way to do that on there. I also have a Patreon page, patreon.com slash franklapore. If you guys want to check that out and support the stream or the YouTube videos, um, you can do it that way. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. I will catch you guys next time. And uh, thanks for watching.